Um, welcome to Temple Talk 24. I'm at the press preview for UKGE. Um, we're going to be taking a look at an uh, early access for Danger Zone, Thunderbirds, cooperative game. Yes, a cooperative card game from me, Andrew Harmon. Um, absolutely delighted to be able to get hold of this IP. I've loved Thunderbirds since I was a kid uh, for far too long, and it's just, it's just absolutely marvellous. So, what is it? Well, it's a card game, um, 110 cards and a few tokens, and it's reenacting some of the missions from the original series. And it goes from nice and simple to much more complicated. So what you've got here in front of you is the simplest mission. <laughs> and what you're aiming to do, you've got um, journey cards, so you've got to get your characters, um, and we're all playing together as International Rescue to try and do the mission called End of the Road. So if you remember that, that's the one with the teetering truck. Yeah. Um, Scott has got to get to the end and sort of hold it up with Thunderbird one's nose and it's grappling hooks and all sorts of things going on. Um, what you do is you've got to get Scott all the way to here and all the other guys all the way to here to, to finish it. Um, and the way you move in the game is by using these resource tokens. So what you've got to do is each turn one player plays Jeff. So the head of the household, the, the, the boss. So if it's my turn to be Jeff, I select one of these uh, resources to be filled. So there's fuel, there's team spirit, there's knowledge, and there's tech. And that's what we're playing with. So if I say, right, Scott needs four fuel to get across Spoke City, um, we've got to get now exactly four fuel. So how does that work? Really simple. So I've said, I'm as Jeff, that's what we're going to do. And then all the other players have got three resource cards in their hand and they choose, without seeing what anybody else is doing, they choose one of their cards. And if that's played by one player or another player, that's brilliant, we've got four fuel. Four. Exactly four fuel, we can move, that one's succeeded, and now Scott is starting on this journey. Right? There's little sabotage cards in these, these are dealt out at the start of the game. This is worth two tech, and this, and this means that the hood is actually sabotaging two of those, so it's a little bit of push and pull. Yeah. Once you get your character all the way up to here, the game ends. So all three characters have got to get there. Now, in that turn we've managed to get four fuel. In that turn we haven't. We've only got three, so two players have played those. I, as Jeff, I've got two cards in my hand and I can edit out uh, what's there, so I can play in. Now this is hopeless. I can't play those in because it would still mean that we wouldn't have the exact number. Yeah. So in that case, time runs out, and as soon as it gets to the end of that time, the game ends. It gets more complicated because you can then add in, um, in the more complicated missions, you can get um, equipment and things in the pod. So this is a more complicated one. So you've got dedicated parts to the, the episode story, but you've actually got to get Fab One, fueled in time for Lady Penelope to get on board Fire Flash to get to America to find the imposters um, from that actor. And then you can get even more complicated if you want to and add in this what's called mission support. So you've got all the guys who are at home on Tracy Island yeah. and you can play as Jeff, you can play this card which is showing Alan. So if you get Alan out he can go into mission support and use his action whenever I want to. So there's little bits of information about Alan, what to do, what to do, I can't remember. Um, he gets extra help, yeah. so you can turn over another one of these resource cards and add that in, which is really useful when you start to get big numbers, big numbers so yeah. nine fuels is quite hard to get. And that's it, brilliant. So 20 to 50 minutes, um, 50 minute ones are really exciting. And when the spotlight comes around to your turn as being Jeff, it's kind of like, what do I do? Do I, do I spend the cards that I've got in my hand? to get Tintin out or do I fuel Fire Flash or yeah. move the mission forward or... Yeah. Push pull on, on what you're actually going to achieve. Yeah, great. But the basic mechanic is really simple. It's just gathering those resources, getting the right numbers. But as the choices pile up, it just gets more and more... Yeah. Spending resources early, not going to play for on. Um, so pre-ordering now? For... Pre-ordering is on now, yeah. It's available at the Jerry Anderson shop. So that's www.shopjerryanderson.com. Um, yeah, pre-orders now. It's not long away from going to printers. So this is the finished designs, but not the finished product, obviously. Um, and it should be in shops uh, August. Perfect. Nice and soon then.
Exactly, yes. And all goes well, hopefully expansions are on the horizon potentially? There, we're talking about it, yes. As I said, there's only seven episodes in this. Yeah. There were 32 episodes in the whole series, so there's scope for extra ones as well, yes. Brilliant. Well, thank you for that, Andrew. Thank you. If you haven't done so already, check out the videos from the preview, and we'll catch you soon. Cheers. Bye.